Hello everyone. Welcome. We are uh, streaming again also today. This nice Sunday. Uh, chilling a bit on the new code and seeing what we can do next. So we did a pretty good. Um, we had a pretty good achievement yesterday, which was to be able to have quests nearly fully working. Uh, with chat bubbles. Our chat bubbles are still pretty simple at the moment. I mean, at least the client side uh, the display. But I'm pretty sure that some uh, some people helping me will figure out, let's say, a better way to display them on screen. Right? So we just need a better graphics. That's the point. Just need a bit better graphics. But the code is there, the functionality is there. I will show you just to recap what we did yesterday. Basically, our character is now able to interact with an NPC and to execute quests through chat bubbles. Now we need to decide how to how to display them. And so the server is starting up, it takes a bit. I've seen that if the server is still loading, the client is having some issue to connect even after uh, the server completes. So if you, if, you, if you try to connect while it's loading, then your client is getting confused for some reason. Which is a problem though. But let's see. Okay, now, now it seems to be loading. Okay. So what we did yesterday was that if we go to the NPC, we go to our NPC and I don't know exactly which quest I have now so I can check it in the UI. So I have both quests, actually I don't know if those quests are completed or not. I think we should, well, this is something that we can do maybe, to filter them by completed and not completed. But I have both quests available, so if I right click on her and I say talk, you see that there are two options that I get. Right? One option is part of the mail Ankelina quest, and another one is part of the trusted transport quest. And I have the chance to initiate both. Right. At the moment, the text is a bit of a dummy text, so it's just high and a low, but real quest. And then I can also say bye, but I basically just um, just say goodbye. Right. right. So um, if I if I click on the first one, I mean there is not a delay, but she basically immediately answers, "Would you like to earn a little money?" Right. And then, based on that, he proposed to me two new options, right? Two new options. And I can continue and say, like, I'm not interested. And then she says, okay, have a good day. She doesn't, that doesn't send anything else. Or I can say the second one and she continues. Okay, so we actually, we can actually continue. So what we don't have yet is the chat bubble for uh, her to speak with us and also we are not centering the view right uh, on the NPC when we are speaking which I think it will be best so when, when when you click on this button I think you should go you should move the camera to probably first person mode and uh, yes and uh, something like I don't know. I can't know if I can show it to you, but something like no, I cannot show it to you. But anyway, something with a character just centered in the, on the screen and the different options, you know, uh, getting shown. This will also let's say get rid maybe of other people. I think we should. We, we will need only the NPC. That would be they would be best, right? So I don't know if we want to go into another kind of mode or if we keep it this way. Hello Zwei. Hi. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> so um, another thing I would like to do is to just double check that whenever we are uh, right clicking we are not creating 
million instances of, of those windows because I have the feeling for example look if I click on the mouth icon once and then I click on the mouth icon twice right I think the two menus are showing up right I think two menus are showing up in fact if I click by once I have another menu be below it right? so this is not good so we should always check if we already created that particular menu and if yes we should just bring it up instead of creating a new one so whenever we have a create widget we should first check if the widget is already available right so i don't know exactly how to do it but we can um, we can check it So creating a widget if not yet created, right? So this is our uh, our what we want to do. Right? Create main widget, set main menu widget, add to viewport, and then in the example above, create a widget that's going on. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, we have to spend. Yeah, this is something that we have to do all the time. So we create a widget at the beginning, but maybe what we can do, we can create a widget really on begin play, and then we can add to viewport and remove from viewport only when clicking. You know? so, that, so we are not recreating it again. That's probably the best, uh, the best idea. Right? That's probably the best. So let's try to do this so we avoid these duplications, because I think those duplications are... Not a good, not good for us. Um, so let me let me launch the editor, and in the editor we we can do this, right? So I think the all creation of the windows should happen at the beginning, and they should just be not visible. I think is what uh, what we are doing already with the with the other windows. Let me let me check. But I think uh, yeah, this is probably what we are doing with the other windows. We should never recreate the window another time, right? And anyway, in the game we will use always the same, say, ten or whatever, fifteen windows. So I think we can create them all at the beginning, and there is no reason to create them uh, interactively. Like for example here in our interact UI, uh, I don't think I'm creating it here anyway. We should have a kind of a begin play and in the begin play we create this window. We just don't add it to the viewport. Right? Um, let me check how, how it's done in the other windows, right? Because I think that the guy that did the UI part uh, worked a bit on this and so so draw window, where is draw window coming from? Draw window is coming from... No, there is a draw window. Okay, draw window is here. It's coming from, from draw windows. And draw windows... Let me see this one. Find references. Okay, so is in load. Is in load. So yes, it's drawing the windows uh, at the beginning. So during the load. Let me just check where is this load coming from. This load is event construct. Okay, so when the windows are getting constructed which is the real beginning of everything, the beginning of the game. We are loading all the windows. And when we load all the windows, let me check if we do something special, cast UI, draw windows, application. I'm just searching draw windows. Remove all windows, recreate them, um, show windows. 
for each window we go here and we create a widget okay so this is done basically only once well depends if the load happens multiple times but I'm assuming that load happens only one time and so after the load we do the creation of different widgets so I think it's similar to what we want to do add child Add child, add a new child to the widget container to the base load time requirement. Uh, okay. It's doing add, add child, but it is actually not doing add to viewport. Right? It's not doing add to viewport. I'm just trying to understand if it is the way we want to do it. Uh, let me search for viewport here and get viewport size. Now, add to viewport is actually not used in this code. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Because my idea was a bit different. Was to ensure, first of all, let me just do an update and see if anything is checked in. Mm, no, okay, there, is no, there are no changes. Okay, there are no changes. Hello, soup. Welcome. Um, Okay, so I think we should do like this also in our uh, in our other code, right? So we should do it. We should do it also in our in our in our code. So when we are uh, starting up the interact UI, let me just check when is getting created. When is getting created? So even graph, uh, even constructs. Interact UI, so even constructs, so context menu for players, context menu for NPCs. Mm, I don't understand too much what is this, which it's based on what it's always zero. So, context menu for NPCs, so image, context menu, image, context menu, image. Okay, so he's create here, he's creating the actual window, is not. Yeah, it's not, uh, let's say, adding it to the viewport. So what we should do, but I don't even see a uh, create widget now. So when, in the, when, when, when is this called? Interact UI event construct. Is this done at the beginning or is this done when we right click, right? Well, maybe we can search it just in Unreal, but because when I right click in my plane shift player controller, so it's under uh, what we called, uh, didn't we have, um, I would really like this thing to stay where I put them, but we have a mouse and keyboard, right? Right, my, uh, right mouse button, selected object, toggle visibility of of the interact UI. Oh, sorry, I double click there, and it's starting something. Okay, it's starting our Visual Studio. We don't need this. So is is getting inside the character blueprint is getting the interact UI and is toggling his visibility. So this means that inside the character blueprint, I think we are uh, creating this UI right at the beginning. So let me search for. Uh, 
PS Character Blueprint, which is here, Interact UI uh, is a component, right? So that's the difference. Is a component. Mm, so maybe components are getting created directly. So it's a bit different here because we are not really creating a widget. Is a component attached to our uh, uh, to our NPC, right? So this is slightly different. So we just toggle the visibility. Mm. Okay. But in our other case, which is uh, our um, the other UI, our chat bubbles UI, I think we are unfortunately cre creating it over and over. Right? And it's really not a good idea. Where we are creating it? We are creating it when uh, we receive the message, right? When we receive the message to squ no, actually when we right click, when we right click on our interact UI, on the mouth icon. So when we click on this one, which is actually the mouth icon, uh, we are uh, get target NPC, remove from parent, select the interaction, interact, talk interaction. Talk interaction is going here. Receive dialog menu. Okay, here, here. Create NPC chat bubble. You see, this one is a very bad idea. To 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 do it like this is a very bad idea because we are recreating it every time the NPC is uh, is speaking to us. So I think we should we should create it um, one time only. Now, how do we do a switch here? For the creation, or we create it at the beginning, you know, on our uh, on our NPC. Also, I don't think we should create one for each NPC. I think we should just, you know, create one for our player. So yes, inside exactly inside PlaneShip Controller. Right? It's not that we want every NPC to have its own chat bubble, uh, unless we are talking with two at the same time. Mm. I don't know. Talking with two at the same time, I think will not be will not be a great. I mean, it will not be happen very very often. Hello, Tua. Welcome. Uh, so the question is: Should we leave it here and just do a check if you already exist? We don't create it again. Or, mm, or do we do it something like in player controller? Uh, begin, you know, there is a kind of a begin play. So really, at the beginning, we create it. We just don't show it, and then we show it later on. Because here, I'm not managing the begin play, right? Not managing the begin play. But I think all the UI should be initialized in the begin play of our character. Right? Why? Why not? Why not? Um, I think we said that the when was the loading happening? This draw windows. When was it happening? Well, it was happening inside the W container, which is calling load, and this load is doing what? It's called when. Come on. Uh, it's called the still inside W container. Okay, I don't know why this popped up. Uh, which is the event, the event construct of our W container. Okay. Now the question could be. When do we actually when do we actually call the creation of our W container? When do we call it? Our W container. Is it, can I find references of this? Copy reference reference viewer. 
preference viewer so w container seems to be called by by ps character blueprint which i don't like too much uh, ps character blueprint ps character blueprints so we really have it here we have a w container Mm. No, this is not a good idea. This is really not a good idea. Because, I mean, we are doing it from PS character blueprint, and PS character blueprint is any character in the game, including NPCs, you know? So, why we should create a window for every NPC? doesn't make any sense this is the begin play of of the character so it doesn't make sense at all um, I have to speak with cyborg though but he's offline mm -hmm. because I don't want to change his stuff so much but basically what I would like to do I would like to move this all of this uh, add UI to viewport this one I would like to move it on player controller Right, and also I would like to be sure that it's only us. I mean, it's the real player. It's not other other people. It's not other player connected because again, we don't want to generate on our client a UI for the other players. We want to generate on our client a UI only for our player. So uh, yes, yes. So, uh, is there any best practice on how to do, where to do this? <coughs> I mean, let me search if someone agrees with me. Where to initialize your UI? Um, creating and displaying UI. Mm. Okay. Well, this is, is 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 it tells you how to do it in the game in the in the editor, but it's not what we like. It's not what we need. Uh, create simple UI, keyboard event. Uh, all of this is not really. Let me see where he where he puts the creation. It puts the creation of the widgets. Uh, right click, open level, open level blueprint, simple UI widget blueprint. Uh, right click the graph and search for create widget. No, yeah, I just don't understand. I mean, he's putting it in the level blueprint. Hmm, interesting. It's even different than what I was thinking. So it's not in the player. It's not putting it in the player controller. It's putting it in the level itself. So when the level is loaded, uh, it's putting when the level is loaded. If you press this a certain key, showing this, but okay, it's not really. Initialize your widget. Let's say uh, where to create widgets, uh, and then I would say player controller and see if people. Mm, how to set up correct widget for multiplayer? This one seems to be a good question, similar to what we are searching. How to set up core widget? Could uh, we work on multiplayer game? I've tried to set up the widget uh, with help, but everything works correctly when launch the game in editor. Uh, when I press a button to respawn, for some reason the widget before does not initialize. Okay, I think I messed up the widget blueprint, especially the casting part. Uh, 
Let me check where this guy is putting is putting it. Mm, is the event construct no no okay it is just where is uh, initializing the values. So inside the player controller event begin play he creates his widget inside the player controller. Right? So it's just asking why it's not initializing and such. Um, I don't know if anyone has a point of view on that, but I think the player controller is probably the best, right? Because it's when we know it's an actual player. Um, creating, um, you can see the widget show up in one player. I was able to get the show. For both at one point, but I will still work on one player only. Also, I'm creating widget in my custom player controller. I don't know if it's bad or not, but if it was a good place for now. Any thoughts? It's changed the point of the tutorial. Basically, you just need to know the code control each person within the widget blueprint. Yeah, exactly. It's asking the same question. There is a moderator that is answering. Are you valuable if you carry your bound? Uh, I suggest to watch tutorials. Blueprint are working, sir. Also, remove the get play control for yourself. Uh, I will design for the single players, please give me only for multiplayer you need the following. Uh, get control, use get control pawn, okay. Hmm. Uh, this is a developer answering. Yes, he's saying you want to test if it's a local controller in the blueprint before to attempt to create a UI. Also, make sure to destroy the UI created for the player when the player's destroyer is called. So, make sure to destroy the UI created for the player when the player is ah, Okay. I'm actually still in 4.7, so I get the updates, man, man, make sure the delay worked. Uh, I tried it. Uh, next question. Hmm. I don't see a lot of people having this question, but widget component owner. Create multiplayer games. There is a book. I have to spend thirteen and ninety-nine instead of one hundred and ninety-four and ninety-nine. Wow, look at that. It's discounted ninety-three percent. Oh my god. Um I don't think I'm gonna do it. Network Compendium. Yes, I remember this one, but I remember actually this tutorial, this, this document. Is there anything about uh, UI in here? External UI? 89. Let me search for UI inside of this. Um... Game mode, game state, player state. Um, and unfortunately, UI is searching widgets. Widget use the UI system calling uh, late. You know, no, no, no. Widgets are the only available locally to the client. They are not replicated. You always need separate replicated class to perform replicated. But uh, MOG and widget, uh, we are uh, okay. Uh, it's fine, but. Um, Okay. Uh, 
There is no UI in here. There is some UI interfaces. Yeah. Doesn't tell you much about this. The session interface provides a platform sync functionality for sending up place between the scenes. Uh, no, it is another, it is another interface. Mm, session management. Strong session, cloud based. No, it's not. We don't have any UIs, UI tips in this document, unfortunately. What's the issue? The issue is I'm just trying to figure out where I should uh, where I should create all my widgets because, like at the moment, I'm and I, and I think the answer is inside my player controller. Okay, I just wanted to be sure because, for example, here we are creating some widgets inside our PS character blueprint. PS character blueprint is actually any character in the game, including NPCs. So uh, if I so the, the begin play at the moment is adding a UI to the viewport, but uh, you know uh, is 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 if he's an NPC, an NPC has his own be even begin play, and we try to do this, which is not what we want to do, right? We want to do it only for the player controller. Only for the player controller, not for uh, not for NPCs. And so I was just watching that we are creating this UI here, and and doesn't seem correct. And in fact, some of the some of the so here we are adding UI to viewport, and we are creating our container widget. Now there is a kind of a check, okay, which is. Which is this thing? Which is I don't remember if I added it or not, but which is basically checking if um, it's basically checking if he's us, and if he's not us, he's not doing anything, right? So. Okay, it already kind of works. I mean, it's not duplicating the UI. Let me say it's not duplicating the UI because it's already doing this check. But the question is, why it should be inside PS character? It should not be inside player controller, considering that is the UI for the player, right? Is the UI for the player, so it should be. It should be on the other side, I think. So my question was, when you're initializing your widgets, is it better to have them all in player controller or in your pawn? Because my, my PS character blueprint is my pawn. Okay? But my pawn is used also for NPCs. Make sense? Does the question make sense? So I were more inclined to have an event begin play in... Which seems I don't have for whatever reason. Right? Right. There is no there is not one, but I, I was more I was more inclined to have an event begin play like this inside player controller, which is initializing all my widgets. And it's setting on my player controller a pointer to all my widgets. Like Many of them I already have because I use them, you know, in the in some of the functions. Like I have my character select widget, for example. I have a few other things. Window quest. My tab inventor. I don't know why I have it here, but anyway, I have it. On PS character, I have a W container, for example. I don't know, it's a bit mixed up. I mean, it's a bit between between PS character and plane shift player controller. Do you have an idea on that, Soup? I mean, what is the best place? I mean, I, I, I think it's player controller, but I'm not fully convinced. So, for example, here, what I would do, instead of 
instead of creating our widget, we have a widget that we create here um, in the talk interaction. Yeah? Um, this thing is becoming hard to navigate though. Eh? There are so many that is a bit hard to navigate. Okay, there it is. Here we are creating our NPC chat bubble widget. But I don't think it makes sense. I don't think it makes sense. I think we should create it just in the event begin play. Right? So let me remove it. Let me remove this. Let me put it here. So I think at the beginning we create this. And we set the reference to a variable which we create on our uh, player controller, which we call NPC, NPC chat bubbles, which by the way would be probably good to normalize all the names, but NPC chat bubbles widget, or I can say W underscore, okay, let's say W underscore for Windows, like we use, we use it like this everywhere. And this one will point to an NPC chat, an NPC chat bubble, NPC chat bubbles window, right? And what we will do, we will set this variable after the creation to this object, right? So we just create a widget, we put it there. We don't add it to the viewport yet. We just create the widget once. Okay, only once. Then, when we are here in our code, in our code down here, instead of recreating it, right? Instead of recreating it, I just want to show it. I just want to to make it visible, right? You agree with plain sheet player controller? If uh, NPC doesn't need anything like that, yes. I mean, an NPC doesn't have a UI. It doesn't have a mouse to click on stuff, right? The NPC doesn't have a PC to play with. Right? So, so the question is, instead of creating, what, what should I do? I should do a add to viewport, or what should I do? So I get my NPC bubble that I set at the beginning. And then on this one, I set uh, NPC bubble object reference return value. Uh, PS character object reference. So this I think I can remove, right? This I can remove, and I can just say. On my NPC bubble that I created at the beginning, I'm just setting. Uh, I don't think I need this thing. I'm just setting the NPC. So we are speaking with this particular NPC. I'm just setting the dialog. And I'm adding this to the view. I don't know exactly what this thing does. I mean, if it's adding to the viewport, is just. <coughs> Add adds it to the game viewport and fills the entire screen unless the Zara says you will focus please in the set aside. This event is only for cosmetic. Uh, I mean how do I show and unshow a, a, a specific widget? Right? So that is my question. Let me see how, how it's done in the menu. Because we have a W menu something. What is it called? Window menu, but I think it's this thing, right? So, yeah, it's create icon, right? Now, create icon widget. Okay, when I click on create icon widget, create icon widget, when I create this icon widget, uh, widgets. What is it? W icon. I think it's this one. 
when I click it, wow, there's a lot of stuff happening by the way when I click it. Uh, when I click it, I do I set the visibility. Target is Windows Drone, set array, branch, save, load. Oh my god, it's doing so much stuff. <laughs> He's doing so much stuff in this thing. Um, why is doing so much when I click? What is doing? Is is getting the get all widgets of class? Then, based on which class, which object is this? If I clicked on the options, for example, it's setting a variable to variable n to 8. I don't know why, but anyway, it's setting this. Then it's setting an array element. It's branching and get y. It's branching on a condition the condition is if is UI edit mode ah, okay because we were we had the ability to edit let's say that we are not editing okay so it's false so if it's false uh, UI edit mode goes to yes and then is which is modes which I don't know if it's which mode what it does UI UI mode switch flip flop UI edit mode hide windows show windows okay hide windows show windows hide windows is doing set visibility set visibility set the visibility of the widget and you can set it as Hidden, collapsed, visible. Collapsed, I think it disappears, right, from the from the window. Hidden, maybe still not visible, but occupies layout space. Okay. No, no, no. We want uh, not visible and takes no space in the layout. Can never be clicked on because it takes up no space. Okay, so collapsed is the right one that we want. And then... Uh, this is when we set it in hide. When we go show, when we go show, what is what, what is doing? It's doing for each loop. It's setting the visibility to to self hit test invisible. What is it? Same as it is in video, but doesn't apply to Charlie. Visible to the user, but only as art. The cursor hit test will never see these widgets. Really? I mean, why we set this thing and not and not visible? Why we don't not set it visible? Get a widget of a class for each loop. Set visibility. Mm. Wow. Okay. He's doing a million things. I mean, there is a wall logic behind this, but I guess we don't care. I guess we don't care about all of this. Uh, the only thing I need is set visibility. So I think what I will do in the creation of my plane shift controller, I will uh, create my bubbles, set my variable, and add to viewport. Right? Add to viewport. And then what I will do, I will set the visibility to set visibility to hidden or whatever it was. It was collapsed, right? I will set it to collapsed. Uh, okay. So this thing is creating widgets. So creating. UI widgets at startup. 
and assigning those two variables right so this is what we are doing with this piece we are creating widgets and assigning those two variables so and also we added to the viewport where we put it we, 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 they start as invisible right then when we are in our interact what I can do what we are when we are in our talk interaction instead of doing add to viewport I will remove this I will do a set visibility for my UI and target is my chat bubble thingy and setup bubble is again my NPC chat thingy okay so yeah so we set this visibility to visible and we okay then when I don't exactly remove from parent what it does, but I, I think we should not do remove from parent at this point. We should do. Let me just search the remove from parent, but I think it's a bad idea. Uh, we should just make it collapsed, not not. We should not remove the widget. So when we are when we are uh, clicking. On one of the bubbles right like here when we are clicking on one of the bubbles instead of remove from part because I don't like this remove from parent I think the remove from parent is wrong I think what we should do we should just do set visibility right set visibility to collapsed Target self, yeah, I think it's well. Ta this target self, I think, doesn't work too much for me. I think we should. Oh, uh, let's try. I actually. Okay, anyway, let's say target self. I think it could be okay. I don't know if I should get the variable in my player controller and put to collapse that one, right? Okay, let's try it like this. Let's try it like this and see and see what it does. Um, at least we should not have multiple window popping up, right? This is what we, we were having before. And I think we should apply this concept on all our, our windows, and they should all start from player controller. I have to discuss this with uh, with Cyborg, but it's offline at the moment. Okay, let's wait the server to go up and as soon as it's up by the way do you have a solution for um, pinging the server because what we were doing in the previous in the old plan ship was that I was pinging I was pinging the server here in the in the main UI to see if that server was up or down right I searched quite uh, quite some but it seems that it, there is no concept of pinging a server in Unreal. Like you have to create your own, uh, you know, your own pinger, but I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, I would like to have something pre made that I can just use instead of creating a new one. Um, okay, so. We want to go there and check if we now spawn only one UI widget. So I click on this. Hmm. It's not showing up at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, remove from parent, PS game instance, interact UI, which has no UMG parent, it was added directly, the United Play widget, take widget, then it must be removed explicitly and remove from parent, okay. The problem is that it's not showing anything. Hmm. 
Hmm. I was expecting it to be to become visible. No? I mean this error is on the remove from parent of this guy. And I right click interact UI event construct. Mm, I still don't understand how this uh, this UI thing is working. Still don't understand it. Do you have any suggestion for that? Hmm, the problem is that every iteration when we test it takes so long. Maybe I could create another uh, just uh, simple simple project just to test this. Because it takes a lot actually. So NPC this this and this um, so this visibility is not really working. Set visibility seems it's not working as I was expecting. Oh, there is an error though. What is this? Set. This blueprint is not NPC bubble, therefore, it must have a connection. Uh, ah, okay. You are right. I forgot to connect one piece. Maybe that's why it was not showing up. It's possible. It's possible there was that. Let me fix the other piece where when we are receiving, when we are clicking on the talk interaction, inside our uh, interact UI, we don't want to remove from parent. Yeah, we don't want to remove from parent. We will try to uh, we will try to set visibility here as well. Set visibility to collapse, and the target is 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 not self because self here is just a, an image, right? It's not self, so I think I should go. Plane shift controller get w w interact no uh, interact no uh, do we have the interact UI set anywhere in player controller basically or not uh, I think we don't set it anywhere mm, okay mm, we don't I think we don't. I think we created. I think we. Like the event graph was always at the beginning, but it's so much better. Event construct. Yeah, we are creating here. Mm, I think I searched it before. Where was the interact UI called from? PS character blueprint yeah, this is where I don't like. This is where I don't like. Okay, too many. Let's say create widget. Create widget. Uh, creating container widget. 
no, this should be... Uh... When you right click... Interact UI. Ah, yes, because it's the component. All right? Every time I forget. Interact UI is a component, so that's why we have this kind of, uh, this kind of thing. Uh, so it's not removed from widget, but it's toggle visibility again. Toggle visibility, I think. Okay, so we should use toggle visibility on this. Uh, when should we do it? We should do it... <coughs> We should do it here when we click yeah talk interaction instead of instead of remove from remove from parent we should do toggle visibility what is the difference between toggle toggle is just okay doing the opposite of propagate to children well for sure i mean i don't want just the the outside of it remaining remaining visible um So I think if I do this, I will not get the error anymore. Target visibility of what? Of my interact UI component. Get interact UI, right? I want to target the visibility of this. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so let's see if now the two pieces are working. I hope so. I really hope so. But I think the one work we have to do is to design kind of guidelines on where each of the pieces are going and then and then ensure that we are respecting that. By the way, it is uh, 6.32. Did you add daylight saving? I had daylight saving. You found some link for a pinging? Yeah, that would be very nice because I would like to ping my server. The problem is that, for what I understand, um, you can ping when you are connected. Right? You can ping when you are connected. Uh, which is not what I want because I don't want to ping when I'm connected I want to ping before I'm connected and this concept of pinging before connection seems not to exist in uh... okay <laughs> toggle visibility now creates another one ah because it's on me That was fun. Okay. It targeted the visibility of my my interaction. You see, <laughs> targeted the visibility of my interaction menu. Nice. And I can speak with myself or look at myself. But it doesn't work, obviously. Why sometimes this thing disappears? Nice when I'm right clicking. I right click this thing is getting created and recreated now I have to toggle the visibility on the NPC but this is working now which is good um, oops I'm super confused now um, why why the menu with the why the menu with the speak is not working anymore now
What is this? Create save move. Warning. What is this limit of save moves? I don't know. Something is messing up. The server just freaking crashed. Or whatever. The server. We managed to fuck up the server with what we did. Can you believe it? Uh, but anyway, I think that set visibility is correct. We just have to set the visibility for the NPC component, not our component. And that is easy. That is very easy. That is very easy. We just have to get the UI component from the NPC. I'm, I'm a bit surprised that it was not working okay at all. Um, interact UI. Okay, this toggle visibility should not be on the player controller, but should be on the selected interaction, which is the character blueprints. Yeah, so here we should get interact UI. Uh, please. Okay. Of this guy. And then this is the one that we want to toggle the visibility. It's not this one. Right? It's not this one. So, okay. Uh, so this one now will work okay. One problem I have is that when I'm when I'm uh, then interacting, the first time it worked, the second time was starting to mess up a lot. The second time was really messing up a lot. It is only about the visibility. I think it's all all these load and save functions. I think I have to. I will have to review because I think it's doing something weird. I think it's doing something weird. Okay. Maybe I should move the NPC closer to us so we don't have to walk all the time for one hour. Okay, so I right click, I get my UI, I click on the button, the UI goes away. Okay, now it's correct. The only problem I have is that it doesn't work the second time. It doesn't work anymore the second time. Why? Why 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 is not popping up again? Why is popping up only the first time? Hmm. Mm. The difference is that we we add we changed from from the creation of the yeah but I don't want to recreate I want to just to set the visibility right mm. so in my uh, NPC chat bubble. Let me go check just what we do here. In my NPC chat bubble, what I do, um, let me just close a bit of this thing. Is 
uh, in my NPC chat, so no, not in my NPC chat bubble. When I get the talk interaction exactly here, and I'm and I'm on the owning client, I'm executing the set visibility visible. This thing is not working. The set visibility is doing nothing. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. The first time is working. The first time, the first time it goes through this anyway. The first time goes through this, one hundred percent, right? Yes. But then when we click on one, let me check what we do when we click on one. Do we just set the visibility or we do something more crazy? Uh, we just set the visibility to collapsed. So, right? We just set the visibility to collapsed of our NPC chat bubble. Hmm. Mm. I'm confused why it's not working. Basically, setting the visibility to collapse works because the window goes away. Because the window goes away. But then, when we are trying to restore it, right? When we are trying to restore it, which is here, we set the visibility of this, it doesn't work anymore. Can we check at least that this is valid? Because maybe it's not valid. Uh, this one has been set when we created the player, so... Maybe what we can, we are inside player controller, so it must be the right one, right? It must be the right one. Let's try just to print out, to print out, um, to print out the value. So this will be NPC chat bubble var and here we put this get display name uh, get display name return the display name uh, for display name uh, and okay I don't know I don't know if it works but let's see because it seems to me that that variable is either null or uh, not working as expected I mean, for sure, I don't want to recreate the UI. I don't want to recreate the UI. I don't want. I want to. Right? I want to set the window visible and invisible continuously. Visible and invisible. Visible and invisible. This is what I want to do. I don't want to recreate it. I don't want to recreate it, boys. Okay, so I click on this. Okay, now it works. What did I do? What what what, what did I change? Uh, I just changed. I just made a printout. I just find a printer. I mean, I just added the print.
Mm, now he's not working anymore. It's like he's he works only the first time. No, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I have the answer, sorry. What the hell? Why is not showing up now? What is the problem? NPC chat bubble. Okay, so why sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't? I don't understand. I mean, now, now I right click on this thing and it's doing nothing. Why is why is kind of random? I don't understand. Now it's not working anymore at all. Let me close the client. I keep the server up. I just launch the client again. I mean it's not consistent. I don't know why. I don't know if there is some initialization going on or what is going on, but it's not it's not working. It's not, it's not working. Okay, let's try to do it without clicking on too much stuff, okay? So that we understand how it works, because there is obviously a logic behind it. I don't think it's random, right? There is obviously a logic. We just you need to understand what is the logic. So, I click on her with the left mouse button. Then... I click with my right mouse and I get my interact UI pop it up here. I click on the mouth icon and I see the menu. On the server side, on the server side I see talk interaction, set target object, etc. Okay. So I click on the second one which is actually the one that allows me to continue with the quest nothing happens it gives an error though Arrow running script in quest select mass quest one operation for clients. It gives a kind of an error though. Quest 10 is already assigned. Quest 10 is already assigned. A big quest. I mean, quest 10. Is this the quest 10? No. We are doing another one. Uh, we are doing, is there anything you need? I'm looking for gold ore. Would like to earn a little money. High and a low. Well, actually, actually, yes, there is the high and we can change it just to but There is the high and the low. So. What the hell is not working anymore? So I, I right clicked, I left clicked, and it shows up. I see two quests, one with high, one with a low. The high is actually in the database number 10, and the low is number 12. So I click on number 12, and it's not doing shit. 
is not coming up with it with the answer anymore. NPC response is correct, right? But on the client side, NPC chat bubble. Forty-nine twenty-eight. There's this one. So we we arrive properly on the client, but we arrive on the client, and now it works again. <laughs> I mean, why sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, guys? Please tell me what is going on. Please say bye. Merry Crystal shine to you. Now I speak, nothing happens. I said bye, now now I right click, nothing happens. Oh my god. What the hell is going on? Now it's like Now it's like the UI doesn't want to pop up anyway anymore. Like if it's destroyed. Ah, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, boys, wait a second. I have two buttons, I changed only one. Wait a second, boys. I think I know why. I have two buttons in my in my right when I click the second one I don't think I did set visibility I still have I still have remove from parent mm. maybe it's that maybe it's that I hope it's that because otherwise I'm I'm, I'm very confused about why I have to do it twice. I have to check the other one as well. So on this one, let's hope we have a remove parent. No, I have set visibility. Mm. But on the buy, on the buy, I have remove parent. Okay, so this one at least, right? This one at least was what I wanted to say. So that if you have remove parent, obviously that widget is never getting created again. So it's okay. Right. Uh, okay, let me try this way. But for some reason, when I click the second one, it's also doing the same. Okay, the buy was still wrong, so that's why. That's why the widget was completely destroyed and removed, and so I couldn't. I couldn't do much. So let's just speak and buy. Then speak and buy. Then speak and buy. Okay, it's consistent at least now. Okay. So if I speak and buy, speak and buy, speak and buy, speak and buy, I can do it forever. And the set visibility works okay. Right? Okay. So if I do speak and hi, this pops up. If I click on the second one, it pops up. If I maybe I was clicking on buy a few times, that's why it was. Yeah, I think that's probably the reason. I think that's what probably the reason. I was just it was just the buy fucking us up. No, but the, but now, but now it doesn't work anymore. 
Hi. Maybe it's just the quest, or maybe it's just the second quest. That is, uh, so if I select the second quest, no, wait a second. If I select the second quest, hello, right? This one just exit with the uh, with the profit. This one just doesn't do anything. The first quest works okay, so if I select the first one, I can go through, you know, I can go through it, and it continues, you see, so it's fine, it's fine, the second quest is a bit fucked up. The second quest, which is Trusted Transport, if I click on Hello, It doesn't come up with uh, with a menu anymore. The second one. Yeah, this one is uh, maybe the one is maybe here we have a problem with the quest. The first one works. The second one, which is this carry. Let me just check, let me just refresh the database. Check again this quest and see what this quest is doing because maybe there is something you know that is not working. Um, so when we say hello, when we say hello, uh, she should give me. Hello, sir, my good friend. Can I trust you to carry out one more thing for me? I have nothing to say to you. There should be another answer, which is yes or no. Ah, but there is no menu. There is no menu. So this one is only... Okay, this quest, for some reason, has no menu. And so it's fine. It's perfectly fine. So it's, it's a test of the old way in which... Uh, so if I say yes in the chat, no, if I say, wait, 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 if I say yes here, yes, yes, she, she continues. Okay, um, okay, well, that quest is a bit of a tricky quest because it's not using menus. I don't think we will ever, we will ever not use menu anymore. We will always use menu. We will always use menu, right? But anyway, it's working okay. It's working as expected. If the script, if the script is no menu, um, if the script is no menu, is not popping up. It's fine. It's it's exactly like uh, um, like we want. It's fine. Um, okay. Okay. So it's working okay. It's working okay. So what this proves is that the toggle visibility is the right way. So we basically we should create all our windows at the beginning, add them to the viewport, and after we did that, uh, just toggle visibility on and off. Right? This is what we should do. This is what we should do. Um, good, 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 good. Good. I think this was a good finding, at least for me. Uh, it was a good finding. So I think I will ask to Cyborg to move everything from PS character blueprint to PS character PS player controller if it's something related to UI. Right? Now what we can do, we can also connect this one, right, which is, um, we can also connect this one. 
which is just the the, the the closing of that and we can just say set visibility to collapsed okay target cell yes that is what it will be so we can click on the X and do this the other thing I want to do uh, I have that very messy very very messy uh, character description window I would like to change that as well so when we click here we have we have this uh, character request detail interaction I think we are creating the widget here as well okay this is the same thing we don't want this we don't want a creation of the widget here we want just the yeah so uh, let me copy this uh, let me description okay, we want in this part to create to create our character description window widgets yes um, still on owning players yes is okay then we want a variable we want another variable here we want another variable here which will be called w underscore char description w underscore char description and this will be char description pointer right and this one we want to set to the one that we are creating here now we want to do the add to viewport which i think is fine and we want to do of the same object and we want to do the set visibility to collapsed uh, of the same object okay so that also this one is created right it's created properly now mm, now when we are then bringing up the character detail description we don't want to create this anymore but we want to get this variable with a get and just uh, and just and just let's say uh, label name and just do all of this 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 this, this, there is also label skills. Why label skills is not connected? Uh, no, it is. Let's connect it anyway. Then the add to viewport is not needed anymore. Right? The add to viewport is not needed anymore. We can have, I can delete it. I can have the set visibility. Set visibility. And I can set the visibility of this to visible. Then I connect this to this. Okay. And um, this create chart description is not needed anymore. So I will just go here and delete this. Okay. Okay, I think it's fine. Okay, I think it's fine. I think that's that's what we should do. That's what we should do. Um, 
what is this? Sec text. Uh, append. Yes, this one is still inside of this thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me just see if I can make it a bit brighter. Just put it here. This one here. All the printouts for, for now, temporary printouts, we leave them, but at the end we will not really need them. Okay, so here we have uh, fixed another one. So basically, we are just set, we are creating it at the beginning and setting the visibility here to visible and invisible. Now we need a way to close this widget because we don't we don't have a way to close it. Don't have a way to close this widget. Is the char description this one? Char description. Let's just place a button on the top um, here. I will just say close. Okay. It's a bit ugly for now, but again, I'm not. Uh, I'm not working on the UI. So the on click of this button will be set visibility to collapsed. Right. Set visibility to collapsed. Uh, yes. Okay. This will be button close. Button close. Okay, at least we can close it. <laughs> at least we can close it. Because we were not able to close it before. Okay, fine. Fine, we fixed a few things. I mean, we didn't really progress much on the other things. But we, we understood a few things. We cleaned up this, uh, this NPG chat bubble so that it works properly as expected. And what would be nice would be, would be to lock the camera on... On the NPC, that would be pretty cool. I don't know how to do it though. Maybe we can go first person. Do we have a Do we have a key for moving our camera from first person to third person and such? Probably not. Huh? Um, because our camera, as a default, is. As a default, our camera is just here. So behind, yeah, it's behind our character. This is the position of our camera. So it's like in the middle. It doesn't look like this though in game. It looks like it's higher. But anyway, it is where we have the camera at the moment. Um, and this thing here is our player, right? This is our player, this is the camera. Uh, what we would like to do, we would like to switch to first person. Maybe I need to have two cameras and switch between one and the other. I don't know. Unreal Engine, switch to first person camera. First third person toggle exactly. Well, let me go. This one is 2017, seems a bit better. I started a project using the tutorial, but it's doing fine. I want to create the first terrain, blah blah blah. I didn't put a third person character. I have no idea how to convert my project to a first person character. I mean, as in character that both first and third person view. It's very simple. Try to watch this video. Nice! There is a video explaining how to do it. There is a video explaining how to do it. Yeah, this guy is super cool. He really likes his intro video. He doesn't speak though. I think he's creating another camera. Yeah, he's creating another camera. He's creating another camera and he's placing it. What is doing? What is
he's doing? What he's doing? Follow him. He's attaching it to the to the head socket. He's attaching it to the head socket. The problem is that then the camera the camera, the camera will just He's adding a button. I think he will add a button. Uh, yeah, press B. And he's changing, he's reaching between the two cameras, right? Flip flop. So many flip flops. Oh my god, what is that? Active camera is as simple as that. Set active. Set active. Okay. So you set active the camera. You have to click on new active. And then you do the same with the person. I think we can test some of this and then I will watch the rest of the video. Uh, so it's basically creating two cameras, one which is our third person camera. So this will be third person camera, which is connected to this spring arm, which I don't know exactly what is it, but is the, the connection between our character and this camera. Okay, and then we need to create uh, a new component. This is what it did. It did it on the mesh, though. Uh, you seen it? It did a new. I mean, he added a new component on the mesh. Uh, camera. Yes, but it's also seen a camera, and this will be first person camera. Okay. Uh, this camera pretty cool and then what he was doing he was attaching it to the head of the character the problem is the problem is my friend that uh, this PS character blueprint is actually hmm is actually generic it's actually generic for all our characters Hello Jess, welcome. Uh, you are late. Also, we had the daylight saving in Europe. I don't know if you had daylight saving. So for me now is 7:13. So I'm one hour ahead. Um, yeah, so it's 7:13. I don't know what time is it uh, in your location today. Um, now the problem is now we have so what we are working on well I fixed a few things on the uh, speech on the on the interaction between the player and the NPC so they are they are speaking properly now and I also fixed some duplication of uh, widgets because we were continuously recreating new widgets as we were going through and it was not a good idea uh, so now we create a widget at the beginning only and then after we um, and then we uh, say we, we just set the visibility so we set the visibility to on and off 
based on yes if you want the widget on screen or not instead of recreating it all the time so which is much better now I was trying to lock the camera uh, to the NPC when we are speaking with him and so I was checking out to do a first person view and third person view camera for our for our characters the problem that I see is that we have a generic you know unless I put it I think probably should not put it here I should probably not put it here I should remove this I should remove this and I should put our third person camera actually on our crank character yeah I think it's the best idea because if I put it here why there are so many cameras here there are two cameras one on top of the other oh my god um, what are all these cameras? Follow camera and third person camera. I mean, why there are so many? Uh, because one is inherited from. Yeah, but I think, you know what? I think that the cameras should all be on the character, on the specific character. Because also the third person view, you know, will change. If the character is very tall or if it's very small so I think all cameras should I don't know if this is the primary camera is there a kind of a primary thingy or uh... I doesn't know I, I doesn't know is this the one I want to use no idea but anyway I think yeah see we really depends on the um... On, on yeah on, 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 on the how, how tall is our character right so if I have a dwarf the dwarf will have a camera like like at this level I don't know it will look like at this level while for this guy for this guy we have the camera at, in, 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 at the level of this of his eyes right so can I just slow down the speed of movement it's so annoying okay nice okay well two ladies around um, okay, so we need to create it. So we will create it here. We will create it here. We will create a new camera, add component camera, and this will be first person camera. First person camera. The only problem is, will I be able to access it? You know. Uh, I'll be able to access it from the character blueprint, from the from the PS character blueprint, because I don't want to script anything. Hmm, this we will see. I don't know if we can. We have to cast it to. Well, we can cast it to. But if we cast it to, then it's a fucking mess. Hmm, interesting. I don't know exactly how to do this, but. Okay, this camera is not in a good place. Uh, the idea was that we will attach the camera to a bone. At least the guy in the tutorial was attaching it to a bone, like to the head bone. The problem is that if I attach it to the head bone, then this will be moving. You know, you will see the camera like moving, like the character is moving. I don't like this. I want this camera to be... to be um, to be standing still okay that is what I want to do so I will rotate it 90 degrees right I will rotate it 90 degrees and is it already okay I mean it looks to me that it's like upside down no 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 it's okay it's okay yes there's this thing where you can look inside at the top so I think it's okay it the way it should be okay so we want to move it though in front of him otherwise we will see the character right I think if we if we don't move it we will see the character so I have to move it like this something like this yes exactly so if I move it here apart from the face look at the face <laughs> Apart from that, it looks very cool, like it's inside a monitor. Um, yeah, we would like to do something like this. Okay, so to have the camera here. Right? Now, 
So let's try to save him. Now, what we need to do, we need to be shoot, we need to uh, switch from third person camera to to follow cam to first person camera, right? Right. Right. So let's try to do it first inside my blueprint here. Even if it's not where I want to place it, because I want to have all of this move to the common blueprint, which is PS character, like jump, you know, it's not that uh, we want to jump differently. Uh, maybe we want to jump higher mm, with a bigger character. Mm, maybe. Okay, anyway, so let's put, let's put the V, we said, V key. Yeah, the V key. What did we add in the old plane ship? M, right? M was the camera. So let's say M. Let's say M for now. M key. Come on. Can I have M key? I can have a, the, the V key, but not the M key. M, I see. Okay. M key. Um, so when this is pressed, when this is pressed, uh, just to avoid all the flip flop that was making me a bit confused. Let's use the F key for first person, and let's use the T key for a third person, okay? So that at the moment is just like this, T key, and then we will change it later. So T key and M key, okay, fine. When I press this, when I press this, I should activate, it was using, uh, what is this? It was using set active. Right. Set active the camera. Uh, oh, cool. I was guessing you were working on creating the NTC view camera thing. Okay. Do you cover much of your project in C and mainly blueprints? Hello, Kash. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm doing both. We actually have a dedicated server set up. So you uh, work mostly also with C++. It uh, saves an interaction between C++ code and Blueprint. So we go back and forth uh, between the two. Uh, what we can, we do in Blueprint, mainly uh, the UI part, uh, so that people can change it without going to the C++ code, so that other people in the team can just work on, say, on the UI uh, from the Blueprints. We also have a number of events. Uh, for example, if you look at our planeship controller, there is a lot of messages that are getting exchanged between client and server. Um, so we receive, we, we send to the server, and we receive back to the client on the client, and then based on what we get on the client, we, we we execute stuff. So yeah, it's really a mix. We we are making the MMO, so you cannot. You cannot really use, well, maybe you can, but you cannot really use blueprints only. I don't know, maybe you can. The people from Age of Conan are saying that they did the whole game in blueprints. Um, I mean, I'm not the one to entitled to say yes or no, but I'm a bit skeptical at least, let's say. I'm a bit skeptical they did the full Age of Conan uh, with, with blueprints only, but maybe they did, okay? I have no... I have no data points to prove anything different um, so maybe it's possible but in our case uh, yeah in our case I think we, we are doing a mix also because the main reason we're doing a mix is because we are reusing a lot of the code that was present in the old plan shift uh, which is actually a game you know, a working game and we are converting it to to unreal so in this conversion we want to reuse as much code as we can and so that's why we also have a lot of c++ um first person camera third person camera set active i mean if i set a camera active i guess i guess the other will disable will be disabled automatically you know I mean, I don't think I can have two cameras at the same time. Even if this guy was doing was doing two set active, was doing on and off, was setting 
you know, in the tutorial, if we see, is 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 setting one on and the other off. It would be cool to put both on and see if the screen kind of splits into two views. I would have said, but for now, let's say that we do like the tutorial is telling us. Um, so we are in third person mode, and so we do. Um, we do third person active and first person and first person not active and also it's said to use reset, I don't know why, reset the second one and then here we do the opposite we do this one and this one this one is the new active and this one is the reset right? I don't know if he was doing anything more than that um, what he was doing now I was setting I was setting the controller Joe, the use controller rotation Joe to the target player. I don't know why. I don't know why. What what is the Ah uh, because probably when you are in first person you can just look left and right, something like that. Did it test this thing? No, I didn't. Never tested it. Really? Wow, it's doing a lot of crazy stuff. It's doing a lot of stuff. It's like creating a different way that the. Okay, who okay, cares? Let's. Um... It's doing a lot of stuff. So it's doing some advanced stuff. Let's just go with the basics and see what happens when we. When we just target, when we just press DNF, okay. Yes, exactly, Jess. That's uh, your answer is uh, it's perfectly in line with what we are doing. Um. So let me launch. Let's see what happens when we press this button. Okay. So we have T for third person and F for first person. And at the moment we have set we have set this trigger on the on the crank character, directly on the crank character. Which I don't know if is a good idea, but exactly on the crank character. Okay, server is ready. I don't know what happens if I press it now. <laughs> Which I'm in the I'm in the character creation, but okay, let's not press it now. Okay, I'm inside. It is third person. I'm going to press F. Hmm. Moved up a bit. I press F again. Does nothing. I press T, it goes down. I press F, it goes up. I mean, it's, it's moving up and down a bit. It's not using my camera. It seems that it's switching between the, the two cameras that we have. Why? Why is not using the other one? Did we mess up the names? Maybe we messed up the names, huh? Did we mess up the names, boys? Okay. Let's see what we did wrong. What did we do wrong, boys? We did something wrong for sure because it's not working. So in our cran character, so it was basically cycling between between these two cameras. So one is called the follow camera, the other is called the third person camera. But I mean, I had my first person camera, and I got my first person camera here, and it's, when it was pressing F, I was I was setting this active. I'm setting the other one inactive. 
maybe since we have three uh, we have to to set also the third one inactive yeah I think so I think so uh, follow camera third person camera follow camera let me do this let me set also the other one set active then we will sort out the fact that we have three yeah? because I don't think it's a good idea that we have three but let me set also this one as not active because maybe it becomes active by default for some reason right so let me set also this one as not active and see if it's any better right I think it would be cool to see yeah, different uh, cameras, I think we can play a lot with the cameras, there are also cinematic cameras, so we could have like cutscenes, you know, where, uh, where you are, okay, so let's, uh, let's try to press, I uh, will press F, okay, oh, I will press T, Nice. I press T again. Nothing happens. I press F. Nice. I press F. 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 What the hell is this? It's super confusing. If I if I press the if I press if I press D to, to rotate to the right, this happens. It's, it's super quick, by the way. It rotates like 90 degrees maximum, so I cannot push more than that. If I press A. Is going in the same direction. Oh my god, it's just so fucked up. I don't know what he's doing. It's so weird. Um, it's super fast and it's so weird. But so let me just understand. So if I'm facing this, okay, I'm facing this. I go in F and I press A to rotate to the left. Then I press T again. Did I rotate? Yes, I rotate. Okay. Okay, so actually I'm rotating, but um, I mean I'm rotating. Okay. I mean it's okay, I think. I mean, it's, it's a, I mean, we have to improve the way it looks around because, like, this is very annoying. But I think, um, yeah, but I think it's good. I mean, I, ca I cannot look up or down. I can only, I can only look left and right. And it's super quick. Even if I press up or down, it's actually just looking. Okay, so so weird. Um, we will fix that, but it's okay. So the the po what would be the point? The point would be that when I click on her, and I say talk, right? And I say talk like this, then we would switch to first person. Hmm. The problem is that we are so tall that we don't see her because she's 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 there. She's there at the bottom. Hmm. So what should we do? We should have a camera facing the yeah. I think we should have a camera facing the NPC, right? Which will be the tall camera, so that our camera will just face her instead of yeah. Hello, Dragos. Welcome. 
if you can speak English, would be better because we cannot we cannot understand you. What what language is that? is telling me that he's Ukrainian the internet is telling me that Ukrainian language so welcome anyway okay so I think what we should do I think this idea of having a first person camera is fine uh, I think I like it but at the same time we need a tall camera the tall camera will be facing you know just in the face of the npc and i don't know if we can do it but i think we can right i think we can so my idea is the following we we just take we just make another camera uh, for the Dermorian lady. What is all of this? I have no idea. Um, for the Dermorian lady, we in her viewport. Right? Oh, by the way, she only has one camera, which is inherited. Okay. Uh, we create a new one, right? which is on her face. So we create, we create on the mesh. I don't know why we did it on the mesh, by the way. But this guy was doing on the mesh, so we would follow this guy, which seems to be a very, very knowledgeable about cameras, and we will call it tall camera. Okay, the tall camera will be rotated uh, 90 degrees. Oops. What's going on? Will be rotated 90 degrees. No, minus 90. Minus 90. And will be facing her. Maybe not that much. <laughs> Maybe like this. What do you think? Should be looking at her face or should be looking like at the, at, at the whole character. I think something like this. Let's try something like this, okay? Let's try something like this. So. Um, okay, so we will have our, our tall camera in front of her. Now, the point is, when we are pressing, when we are pressing V, we should get the selected object. Huh, now that is tricky, huh? Because when we are pressing T or, or F, no, when we are pressing, let's say that we have K, K key, which is the talk camera, right? Is the tall camera. The problem is that I have to trigger the tall camera of the NPC I'm looking at, or I have targeted, you know? So the NPC that I have targeted. So at the moment we only have a set target object. We don't have a get target object. But I think we need to have a get target object in our code. Let me check. We have a set target object. Right? Yes. The set target object is a blueprint callable function. We don't have a get target object, but we need it. 
and this also should be blueprint callable All right and this one should be blueprint callable and returns an APS character which for us is okay uh, it's okay so so because actually hmm Okay, for now let's do it like this, but actually, uh, unfortunately, we have our camera not on the PS character blueprint, but we have it on the specific character mesh, which is a subclass of our PS character blueprint, but it's not that one, so I don't know exactly, you know, what can I do? I mean, for now I can just hard code cast it, but hmm, maybe it's not the best idea the best idea okay uh, let's see so when I press key the key thingy I will set active again um, I will set active from uh, I will no I have to I have to call a function let me if I compile this Will it change? I need to compile this. Yeah, it's doing hot reload, so it's, so it should be available client side. So I should have now. As soon as this completes, I should have a get target object available here on our. It is on our PS character, so I should get. I should actually get my pawn. Hmm, let's see. I should I should get pawn. I know we are already we are already inside the pawn. We are already inside the pawn, so it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Let's just wait till he finish to compile and see if we get the new the new object. Obviously, if that object is null, so we will have kind of to branch, you know, we will have to branch, and if that object is null, then we will do nothing. So, like, like we can print out no character selected, something like that. We can say no character selected. Right? If is true. Then we can go to the to the set active. Right? So like this, nothing like this. If it's true, we go to the to, to set the active. Still compiling. Wow, it's taking a lot of time. Hello, whoever joined, welcome to the stream. Okay, one succeeded. Okay, so now in theory we should get uh, this thing is not compiling, but if I use get target object, you see, it's available already. Nice. So we have our function which is get target object. Now this function can I run it on the client? Hmm. Unfortunately, not. Unfortunately, not because my get target object is returning this guy, and this guy I think is not replicated. Right? So it will always be null. If I want to replicate it, what do I do? I just set it as a U property and that's it. I, I just set it as a U property, boys. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, I want to replicate a variable. So. I think it just said it as a U property. I don't know if there is any. 
So you function, blah, 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 in my play, blah, blah, blah. Um, replicated variable, new value. Anyone knows the answer? You can do that from actors that only by the clients. You play control play a character on play kind of pawns on by the server where what happens if you will control the server already because the player is playing because the player will change you could implement the player surface function. Um I mean in my case Variables are only ever replicated from server to client, never the other way around. Okay, for us it's fine. I mean, it's fine. I just want to set a variable as replicated. I mean, we have the right value on the server, right? We, I just want to set it replicated. I just want to replicate. I think if it's a U property, it's going to replicate. Um, maybe I should just read the standard documentation. U property replicated. Okay, so there is a replicated tag. Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah, I just have to say replicated, and that's fine. I can just say you properly replicated. So we want this this one to be replicated. Okay. We want target object. So whenever it's set, because when we click on her, we set this variable. We want this to be replicated. So which this would be very good because if it's replicated, I don't have to go all the freaking client server shit. I can just say get target object and I get the target object, you know. Um, yeah. I get a target object as a result, which is my APS character. And I can do it on self. Uh, well, 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 well. Uh, this one in theory should be in player controller, but uh, it's fine. I think it's us, right? It's us. So I think self should be fine. So we return a value, we just have to check if it's not null, if it's valid. Is there an is valid thingy? Is valid is valid object? Is valid object? Okay, so if it's not null, right? So I should check if the object is valid. If it's valid then I guess I don't need the branch anymore. I set active. If it's not valid, I print this. Um, now, the only problem we we have is that we can obviously get. So if I type, for example, camera, right? Camera. We have all the camera follow, camera set, camera first person but the problem is that our camera first person is if I select this one I think it not be the right one because the first person camera uh, is the one on the crayon is not the one on the lady mm. 
is a bit of a problem. Get first person camera. I mean, I want to get the camera of the other guy. Why is not taking? Nah. Camera boom. Why is not? I mean, should I do get component something? Do I have to do get component or? Uh... Nah. Now, how do I get? How do I get a component which is on another NPC? How do I get that? So here I have my NPC. Uh, I really didn't like what we did here. Setting as get lifetime replicated properties. Oh, what is? Why is not liking liking this to be replicated? I just added new property replicated, and it's throwing a lot of errors. He's throwing out. The fact that it cannot resolve an external symbol. Mm. Maybe I need to add a new function. What is this? What is this? Um. You have to write your own your own your own implementation of the replication thingy. Oh, it's this thing. Setting up property. So you you have to you property, but then you also have to implement this. In the implementation of the actor class, you need to implement the get lifetime replicated prop function. In the actor construction, make sure you have the B replicates flag set to true. Uh, do repli do repli lifetime. I mean, what is this? I mean, I can copy this here. It's not a problem. I just that I I don't know if I understand what he's doing. Um, but okay. So let's copy this function. So PS character, we need our PS character CPP, which is under bulk object somewhere. PS character CPP. So let's implement it as the last APS character function, which is there are multiple classes in this source file. So the last APS character is here. Yes. So let's implement some. APS character APS character get life replicated props TRA life property outlet of prop. I don't know. I would just leave it as it is, right? I, I, I don't know. I will just leave it as it is. Then it says that I need to ensure that this character has replicate true in the constructor. In the const do we have a constructor for this class which is getting uh, APS character? Do we have an APS character constructor? APS character constructor we have, but is this one is not the one with the F constructor stuff. 
is not the one with this f post blah blah blah. I can try to use b replicate through anyway, but and see what happens. You can say set replication and see what happens, right? Set replication. Let me recompile it. Meanwhile, we are thinking to it to this. The problem is that okay, we will get the target object, which is cool, um, which is something that we need anyway on the client side. But um, but then how do I get the camera of that object? Because there is a PS character object reference. Uh, wait a second, I need to cast it to plane shift no to ps character blueprint right yes i need to cast it to ps character blueprint in case it's valid okay in case it's valid i need to cast it now that i cast it to my ps character blueprint i should have you see if i have get camera now No, I cannot get it. Why I cannot get it? Oh, third person camera works. I did get third person camera. Uh, because it's the only one that we have on uh, the character blueprint, that's why. Uh, too easy. So, what I could do just now to do a quick hack, I mean, I know it's a hack, okay? I know it's a hack, so don't get mad at me. But I could cast it to... to the Morion for main character. Which is the lady, okay? And then here, I'm pretty sure I can then get the talk camera. Get talk camera, right? Yes, I can do it. Because she has it. She has this camera defined on, on herself, while the other characters don't at the moment. Our problem is this. We, we don't want to have, you know, we don't want to have this. So, we will have to... To think if we can define a camera on the on the father class, and then maybe in the initialization of the NPC, we are moving that camera in the right location, and so we we can also use that camera. Right? So that's probably the solution to our problem. That is probably the solution to our problem. Uh, still compiling. No, it doesn't like it. APS character get replicated props cannot access I mean can I place here my APS character that is an actor or uh, or not doesn't like it Cannot access private member declared in class A actor. By, but boys, uh, if you remember, if you remember, um, I mean our our oops, our PS character class, which is this one. Is inherited from a character which is inherited from a actor so why is saying that is we are in a soup in a subclass of right we are in a subclass why he doesn't like it cannot access private mem because it's a private member I mean if it's private Member actor owner. 
it cannot access it cannot access oh my god I have to put the name of the property I want to replicate I'm so stupid I'm so stupid boys okay so we need to place target object here not not owner okay right okay so we have to place there the variable we want to replicate okay we succeeded okay so i think now we have the i think now we have the target object set I think recompiling it, it eh, went crazy. Recompiling it, it went a bit crazy. Okay. So this is our tall camera. Um, so we are casting this to the Morian character we get we get a face camera and then we set and then we set this camera as active and we set all the other cameras as inactive right Mm, let's say we have a, we have a, we have a million cameras here because we have we have the first person, the third person, and also we have the the new one that we uh, that we created inside. Uh, so we have the the follow camera. We also have the follow camera. Right. So we actually have three. Ah, yes, the follow camera is here. So we have we have the follow camera. We 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 set inactive the follow camera. We set inactive the third person camera, and we set inactive the first person camera. I think we have to set inactive all of this, all of this. Well, let me copy my day. Oh, who cares? Yeah, yeah, no, wait. Here, right. Okay. So we said active this one and we disable the other three cameras. I don't know if it will work, but if it works, it will be amazing, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let me just delete the um, DLL because I want to be sure that whatever we compile. It will actually be, you know, 100% the new code. I mean, if it works, it's amazing. I don't know if it will, but if it works, it's pretty amazing. I would be surprised. Okay, compiled. So we can launch the server. It will ask me to recompile because I deleted the DLL. So it will ask me. If I launch the server, he should ask me, yes, to compile this. So we compile it. This will be pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. It takes a bit to compile, but we see so what what will happen now is just to summarize is that when we press the k key the code will search 
the code will search for uh, the current targeted object which hopefully we have because we have left clicked on her and so we set the target object on the server side which is then replicated client side as well which is amazing if it works and then uh, we check the camera that is called uh, talk camera which is actually on her face and we switch our camera to be that camera now I don't know if we can switch our camera to the one of another character but in theory yes why not I mean there should be no reason why not right? there should be no reason why you cannot switch the camera between the two so mm. So let's see. Tension music. Tension music. Will it work? Okay, cannot move anymore. Why I cannot move anymore? Okay, let's try to do T. F. I cannot move anymore with the keys. What the hell? What, 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 what? If I press K, it says no character selected. Okay, that, that's why, why I cannot move anymore. I would never be able to select the lady because I cannot go there. She's so far, you see? He's on the back. Is that well? I can select her anyway, I guess. Oh, nice. I can't, I can't, I can't select. Wait a second. There is no distance. Check. I can't select it. No, I cannot. I'm trying, but I cannot. I cannot click on it. It's like one pixel. Ah! Fuck. I cannot click on it. It's too far. I cannot do it. Like one, one, one pixel, but that pixel, we got this way. No, it's not, it's not working, it's not selecting anything. I mean, I can randomly click and move, but. Fuck. I cannot select it and I cannot move. Because we activate the replication, now it's trying to replicate my position as well. I don't know, why can I move anymore? Okay, sorry, yeah, we have to fix this first. Okay, tension music. It was good music, but uh, we fucked up somehow. So, for some reason, we cannot move anymore. I mean, what, 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 what went, what went wrong? I mean, what, what is the? I mean, the only thing I changed, I changed this get target object as a replication. Okay. I changed. I made this a U property. Okay. And then we added the face camera. The talk camera, right? What is the, the only thing is that we did? Do you think it was a momentary e cap? So we launch it again and maybe it works? I don't know. I'm, my feeling was that I think the server was like di dictating my position. 
And I was not controlling my character anymore. It's truly when I type the pa when I type the password guest, I press the T key. So actually, I switch to to third person mode. I don't know if this makes any difference, but right. So I cannot move. There's no way I cannot move. I cannot even jump. I cannot move. I can. I cannot jump. I cannot do shit. I cannot do anything. I cannot even activate the UI. Also, the UI is fucked. The UI is completely fucked. I think it's the replication. I think it's the replication. Let's try to let's try to remove the replication one second and see what happens because I, I have the feeling it's the replication. Fucking up everything. Um Let's comment out. Let's comment out this code. Let's comment out in the constructor. In the constructor, uh, what is the constructor? APS character. Let's comment out this one. And let's comment out in still in PS character. the get target object replication okay and recompile I don't know it's when I turned it when I turned that on everything went to shit The only problem boys is now I have to go to dinner and so I have to stop and I don't know if I will stream again today unfortunately we are in a bit of a mix at the I mean we are in the middle of something but I need to I need to go I need to go um, so I will I will speak to you hopefully tomorrow afternoon Okay, because I think that later tonight, potentially I will not be here. But tomorrow afternoon, if all goes okay, I might be here. Okay, let's just do this last check if I can. Uh, I recompile that. Yes, let me just last check if if is the. But I think it is because we didn't change anything else, right? So the I don't think it's the cameras. I don't think it's the cameras fucking up the, you know, fucking up the movement. I don't think so. I think it's the replication. So we have to learn. We have to learn. Um, I cannot do it now because I have to go. But just quickly, if I search Unreal Engine replication, my character doesn't move. Um, Replicate floating pawn movement problem. Most definitely my mind replicate but it doesn't work inside of no, 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 no. I can I can move my character in character game mode. Yeah. I think hmm.
auto possess. I don't know, is this auto possess? I think. Let's finish this compilation and see. Okay. Dev meeting in game. Do we have a dev meeting today? I wanted to do something else actually, but let me check. Do we have a dev meeting today? Crap. Um, what is today? Today is um, dev QA. Why dev QA is on the 26th? It's on Monday. Why is it on Monday? It starts in 3 hours and 44 minutes. Uh, Okay, it fucked. I mean, the I think the daylight saving fucked up the timing for some reason. This will be midnight my time. Yeah, it will be midnight my time, which is not what I want to do here. I don't know. We can, um, yeah. Maybe I will be there for the for the meeting. Okay, I will be there for the meeting, but I don't think I will stream it. Yes, we changed the time. Yes, we changed the time from, I mean, one hour. So we have one hour less of sleep. Yes, it works now. So it's the replication. The replication is fucking everything up. I don't know why, but replication is the GG. Okay? We have to sort that out, but we will sort that out uh, another day. Not today, my friends. Um, so, I would say, see you next time. Holy, I did it bad. Why I cannot select black? Okay. Um, yeah, so I would say, see you next time. See you next time, boys.